In this video, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful minimalistic portfolio website in Canva. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is go to Canva and create a free account. Once we've created our account, we can log in and this is the first interface that we are going to see. Using Canva, you can design a lot of things, but today we will be designing a website. From here, we're going to choose the website option. If you cannot find it over here, you can simply search for website on this search bar. So we're going to click on website and it's going to open up an interface. Here you can design your website. Here you can see there's a small guide. It's telling us to start with a template. Templates are fully customizable. Drag one onto the canvas to start. So we can drag and drop it to our canvas so we can get started. If we click on next, it's going to ask us to add texts, upload our own images, and we can share and download our content from here. All right, now we're going to close this up. And the first thing we're going to do is name our website. So this is our portfolio website. After naming, we are going to click on design. And from here, we can see there are a lot of designs available for websites. So if you are looking for a particular template, you can search from here or select any of these buttons, clothing store, wedding. But since we are looking for portfolio, we are going to click on portfolio. And you can see there are a lot of choices over here. Now, some of these templates have this pro label over here. That means you have to upgrade to Canva Pro in order to use this. If you want to use a particular portfolio, what you can simply do is click on it and it's going to open up all the pages of the template. So now you can just simply drag and drop it into the canvas. The way you do it is like this. So I'm dragging and dropping it over here. Now you can see that the template has been created. Now, if you use a template, it will be easier for you to customize your website. Otherwise, you have to build everything from scratch. Don't worry, we're also going to show you how you can do this manually. But if you like one of the templates, you can use it like this way, okay? So in order to customize any of these, so this is our text field, we can simply replace it with our own text. So let's add John Doe over here. We've written John Doe here. So let's say we are creating a portfolio for Mr. John Doe, who is a digital marketeer. So let's go ahead and change all these texts and images on this website to make this portfolio of a digital marketeer. Using this method, we can edit different elements in our website. For example, this text, we can change it to something else. And then we can change these texts as well. And finally, we can also change this image. So let's delete this image and add another one. We're going to go to the element section. And from here, we're going to search for a photo. What you can alternatively do is go to uploads and upload your own images and add it over here. But we are going to actually choose an image from the element section. And here are some images. We're going to click on see all. We want photos. And this is a good image. We're going to choose this one, place it over here and let's resize it. Then to add a new section, we can simply click over here and a new section will be added. If you want, you can click on apply all six sections and all of these sections will be imported to your canvas and you can customize it all. Let's actually learn how you can manually add text, photos and other elements. First, we're going to go to the text section and from here we're going to click on add a heading and our text will be added. From here we're going to write projects. So we can add in our projects. Now we're going to select this and make this text 100 and also choose a font. From here we're going to choose public sans and let's also turn this into uppercase. Now we're going to drag and drop this heading over here and then we're going to add some subheading. So we're going to click on this button and write these texts. So we actually don't want it to be bold. So let's click on this button and let's reduce the size to 22 pixels. Now let's drag it and drop it over here. And now we want to add some projects. So what we're going to do is first head over to elements and we're going to search for SEO. And from here we're going to choose graphics and this one looks good enough so we're going to choose this one and now let's resize it all right now we're going to place it over here and then let's add some texts so we're going to go over here click on create a subheading let's write the name of a brand over here all right now let's reduce the size so that it will look better all right now let's expand this so it will come to one line now let's drag it and drop it over here. And now let's add some other texts. So little text over here. And let's add our own text over here. And now let's reduce the size. And also let's change the font to public sense. We're going to do the same for this as well. All right, 
Now let's drag it and drop it over here. We're also going to change the uh, alignment over here and let's change the alignment. All right. Now this looks a lot better. Now what we're going to do is make this into a group. So we're going to select all of these by pressing shift on our keyboard and holding that button. And while we're holding that button, we're going to select the image and this text over here and this text over here. So all three will be selected. Now there will be an option called group. So we're going to click on it and this is now a group. So now what we're going to do is select this and we are going to copy. You can also press control C in your keyboard to copy it. And now we're going to press control V on our keyboard to add more of these elements. All right, now we're going to do the same. And another one. Great. Now make sure that these are aligned properly. All right, now we're going to change the image and text. To do that, what we're going to do is simply ungroup it and then add a different image. So let's go to the elements tab and let's find content writing. And here are several choices for us. We're going to choose this one. Now let's delete this image and let's resize it and add it over here. Now we are going to write content writing over here. And now the writing has came to the second line. So we're going to expand it a little. All right. And now we're also going to change this writing as well. Great. Now we're going to do the same thing for these two as well. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video forward. All right, we're done. And after you're done, make sure to select all of these and turn it into a group. All right, so all of these are in group now. And so that is how you can add in your project. So if you're a digital marketer, you can add in your projects like this. You can add the brand name and which brand you have helped. If you are a photographer, you can simply add photos of your projects over your best photos and if you're a web developer you can add the images of your websites over here basically whatever projects you have done you can showcase in this section next we're going to click on add a section and this will be for the get in touch so what we can simply do is grab this section and add it over here or you can simply click on it and it will be added so we're going to remove this photo and add a relevant photo we can search from here we can add the photo of a phone over here All right, so we added the photo and now we can add in our email address over here. We can add in our phone number. We can add in our address and other details over here. We have a standard website, very simplistic with three different sections. We have the heading section over here. We have the projects. We also have the get in touch section. Now you can add in more sections, add in your skills and other relevant fields, but we're going to just keep it simple by adding all these. And now let's learn how to add different pages. To add a different page, what you can simply do is click on this plus button over here and it's going to add another page. And we also have to add a title to our page. So let's say that this is the contact page, okay? And we're gonna do the same for here as well. We're going to make this the home page, great. And for the contact page, we are going to do the same. We are going to add a heading text called contact. We are going to make it public sans and increase it to 100. We're going to make all of these upper case and then drag it and drop it over here. Then we can add a photo such as this one. It's pretty much similar to the get in touch section that we created. Now, if you want to add a form currently with the given technologies, we cannot add a working form using the Canva website builder, but we can simply go to apps and from here search for jot forms. Here is jot form. You can use this app create an account and create a form and then paste in the code of that form over here and you'll be able to add a contact form on your Canva website. But we're not going to actually do that in this video because it requires some more explanation. We'll probably have a dedicated video for this one in the future. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any important tutorials. So for this, what we are simply going to do is we're going to add in our email address, phone number, street address, etc. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to go to text. We're going to add a subheading text. We're going to write email, then drag it and drop it over here. We are going to reduce its size so it looks better. And then we are going to add a little text over here. And then we're going to drag and drop the text right below here and reduce its size to 12 pixels. And then we're going to copy this and paste it down over here. And now we're going to write the phone. We're also going to change the alignment to left align and place it over here. And let's also paste in the address from this section.
Great, so we have a contact page now. In the same way, we're going to click on plus and add an about page. So let's write about. And you know the drill, we're going to make it into 100 and we're going to use the public sans and we're going to make this uppercase, then drag it and drop it over here. Let's write about me and let's expand this over here. And then let's add more texts, subheading text. We're going to write John Doe. Let's place it over here. And then let's write digital marketeer and let's drag it and drop it over here. But let's reduce its size to, let's say 18. Let's make this public sense and let's remove the bold. Now let's add more texts over here. Great, now let's drag it and drop it over here. And also let's reduce its size to 12. And let's align it to the left. And now let's add a photo over here. Same, we're gonna to go to the elements and get a photo of a man in a suit. And let's add it over here. So we're almost done, but we actually also want to add a button over here. So to add a button, we're going to go to elements and then we're going to remove this. And we are going to actually search for a rectangle. I've written RE and we can add a rectangle right from here. So if we click over here, it's going to add a rectangle. Then we can resize it and write something like get started. But we're going to make this bigger, make these texts bold and then drag it and drop it over here. So we have a button now. Let's actually reduce its size a little bit. Also, we're going to reduce the text size to 14. Okay, so that's great. And to change the background color, we are going to select this. Click on color over here and choose the white color. So now we have a button. We also have to add a link to the button. So clicking on this button will lead to somewhere. So we're going to choose this and we're going to click over here in more. And from here, we're going to choose the link and we're going to choose the contact page. So clicking on this button will lead the users to the contact page. Now, if you don't want this underlined design, you can simply click over here. It's going to go away. All right, so we have a minimalistic website. Now you can click on preview to take a look at how your website is looking like. So we're going to click on preview and it's giving us a preview of how our website will look like. You can see that we already have three pages and the third option is saying page three because we haven't named it yet. Okay, so it added a menu automatically. You don't have to add the menu manually. So this is a big help. If we scroll down, we can see that everything is looking very nice. All right, if we take a look at the mobile device, you can see that everything is responsive. Great. Now, before we publish, we have to actually give name to the third page. So let's close it up and let's choose this page and add a title. So this is the about page. Okay, now let's hit enter. And now if we preview, we can see that it says about. Now we're going to publish this website. To publish it, we're going to click on publish website button over here. You can see your website is over here. You can add a site address URL. Now, whatever you insert over here, the domain will be .my.canva.site. If you want to use a custom domain, you have to click over here and purchase a Canva premium plan, all right? But for now, we are just going to publish this website. Now we wrote John portfolio over here, but the URL is not available. So let's go ahead and add some more items to it. Okay. John portfolio two. This is available. John portfolio two dot my dot canva dot site. This URL is available. So we're going to click on publish and it's going to prepare your design and publish your site so we can view it. All right. Our website is live. Now let's click on view website button. And here is our website. How cool is that? An entire website created with Canva. If we click on over here. The pages are working perfectly. So that is how you can create your own portfolio website using Canva. Now, what about a custom domain? So if we click on publish website and if we click over edit and click on get a new domain, it's going to lead us to this section. We can connect our domain from a third party or we can get a custom domain from $18.99 per year. But for this, you have to upgrade to a Canva Pro plan. So if we click over here, we can see there are some plans for Canva. You can try a free 30 day trial and you can cancel at any time. And for the plans, you can purchase yearly or monthly plan. The yearly plan or the annual plan is only $55. That means you'll be billed $4.58 per month. And this is considered to be the best value which will allow you to save $23. You can also purchase the monthly plan which is $6.50. So per month you'll be paying this amount okay and you'll be able to try it out for 30 days for free. So once you're ready you can click on next and get your Canva Pro and launch your website in a custom domain. So that brings our video to an end. We hope that it was helpful for you. If you found this video helpful give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos such as this one. So thank you for watching. See you next time.